Alright. I literally just shot the video for the Wizbeck Noisy Cricket. Now I'm going to show you a coil build um, that you can do on this. Just a simple, simple coil build. Easy to do. All you need is some canthal. Well, larger canthal. Um, it's going to be on my velocity style. I mean my uh, velocity clone. Uh, just because it gives me the, the distance that I need for the posts. Um, because this is going to be a big build. Um, as I showed and told you all in the last video, you want to do a certain build on this. You want to do between 0.4 and 0.6. Like I said, I do 0.5. I'm going to try to hit 0.5. Um, so I'm going to dive down and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do. Um, for a coil build for this. Uh, at the moment, once they start getting into Clapton's and fused Clapton's and zipper coils and stuff like that, I will be happy to show you all that too. But for right now, this is what I got for you. Alright guys, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some snips. These are just the Coil Master wire snips. Some ceramic tweezers. Uh, you can use pliers or regular tweezers, but these are just nice because you can do it with the, while the coil is hot. Um, you can't do that with metal or it'll short. A screwdriver. Just a regular run of the mill precision screwdriver. I do use the Coil Master Jig for simple builds. For more complicated builds like twisted wires or stuff like that, I do use a screwdriver. And you can use a screwdriver for this. I'm just going to show you on the Coil Master Jig because it's just freaking easier. And this is a three. Uh, 30 mil, 30 millimeter post, and then for this one we're going to be using 24 gauge Canthal. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to clip some Canthal. You're going to need quite a bit. Let me get some clipped here for you. And that's probably good. I always overdo my Canthal because um, I'd rather have a little extra at the end rather than uh, not enough and then you're wasting more canthal. I mean if you can judge it perfectly go for it. <laughs> so I've got about it's about like a 10 inches of, coil of uh, line here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip it right in here in the hole. I'm not even going to straighten the wire. I don't even care about straightening the wire. And I'm going to put it in the hole and push it down my thumb there. Bend it back a little bit. Take my cap. And I'm going to twist it away from me. One. Two. <laughs> three. Hold on. Three, four, five, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, I'll I'll cut the next one a little shorter. <laughs> I always um, over twist that last turn a little bit because it's going to spring back on you like that. It springs back a little bit. So we've got a sixteen wrap, twenty four gauge coil with a lot of extra. I should not have cut that much extra. Snip it here. And that was a horrible demonstration of it because y'all didn't see but like the last bit of it. But we have a nice 16 wrap, 24 gauge coil. All right. Now it's time to do it again. Because we're going to do dual coils.
No, Caesar, we cannot play now. And I'm actually going to go up. Move the camera up. And I'm going to show you this up here. Please excuse the pizza box on the floor and the clothes. This might be a little bit easier to show you. Yeah, that's my camera stand. Alright. Just like we did before, we're going to slide it in a little hole. Push it down with our thumb. Get it back a little bit. Oh, that's so much better. And then we're going to twist away from us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. And as you see, the more the more we twist this thing, the more the coil builds. 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to twist it a little bit more. And I'm going to leave this one on here. I'm just going to take it out of the hole. I'm actually going to push it back a little bit. Just push it back. Get that quad, one leg straight. And then a little tip. When you're done with your coils, snip one leg longer than the other. See how I got one gigantically long and then one kind of short? Just snip the other one that's a little bit longer. Makes it easier to put in the post. Right. I'm going to pause the show. I'm going to readjust the cameras and we're going to go back down. Okay, guys. I actually am not using my own reader to prop this on because, well, as you guys saw earlier, my own reader is my my camera stand at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our coil that we made, 16 wrap, around 30 mil, 30 millimeter post, and I'm going to slot it in. Long side first, and then short side. Wow, I didn't realize how hard this was on camera. Alright. Oh, I got the wrong, wrong pulse tool. There we go. If you guys don't have a velocity clone or a true velocity or anything with a velocity style deck by now, try it. <laughs> it's amazing to build on. Alright, I'm just going to push that in, pull, the, pull that out. I'm going to hold it there with my thumb. And I'm going to tighten the screws down. And I've got it in there. Like, it's all the way in. Like, it's pushed all the way up to the posts. As close as I can get it. I'm going to turn it around. Push it back up to the post. And get this one screwed down. There we go. Alright, now as you guys can see, there's a little turn in it. And it's right up against the post. And I'm gonna we're gonna adjust that. And this one I'm actually not gonna use the coil master jig to get this on there. I'm gonna pull my coil leads out so it's easier to work with. And this one I'm just gonna slide it in. I'm not gonna worry about the, the jig or anything. If I can use the jig, I will, but I'm okay. I think this coil build is gonna be okay with it without it. Alright, I'll slide it in. See how crooked it is and all kind of jazz. I'm just gonna push it up there. I'm just gonna slam it into the post. We're gonna tighten it down. Ooh, it is pulling it. It is pulling that lead. And my mod is turned off, by the way. I did just click the button. It just reminded me to tell you to turn it, turn your mod off if you do it this way. All right. We're slammed up against there. 
And we're just going to tighten it down. All right, we're all tightened down. Pour our leads all out. We're going to snip the walk, snip the leads. Can't actually snip it. I'll just score it and snap it. Snipping wires, snipping wires. There we go. Sorry, this is actually really freaking hard to do on camera. I never really realized how hard it was until now. Snipping camera, I mean, uh, coils on camera. And last lead. There we go. All right. So we got all the leads snipped. What we're going to do now is adjust the coil. I'm going to take the post here. Actually, let's see if I can get the screwdriver working. Oh, yep, there we go. Screwdriver works a little bit better. So I'm just going to put it, stick it in and pull it out just a little bit. See how it's straightened up. You can actually see straightened up and it's sitting just a little bit off of the deck. The same over here. They're nice and even. This one can actually use a little bit of adjusting downwards. This one upwards. You just want to play with your coils so you get get them the way you like. And because I've got so much damn room on this deck, I've got a lot of room to play with. All right, so since we played with our coils a little bit, tightened them up. I mean, uh, pulled them out and stuff. We're gonna just retighten just to make sure nothing's nothing came loose. Because I noticed on the uh, three post RDAs without the grub screws, they'll actually loosen up a little bit. All right, so we're going to turn around and see what we got. I got 0.56. I'm going to turn the wattage down. I always start low and work my way up. I'm going to try to fire. Is the smoke rolling off? Alright, that's going to take a while. I'm going to crank it up about 60 watts. Let's go with 50. Ah, there we go. Get some action now. Now we're going to take our ceramic tweezers. What the hell did I do with them? There they are. And we're going to squish, adjust, and strum. And get out all these hot spots. See, this camera, I, so you get, it's really hard to show you guys. See how I got the little hot spot right there? It's shooting right through there. A little hot spot right there. And it's heating up this wire on the outside first. Actually, I'm going to squish it together. And I'm going to fire it. I'm going to go over this one. Squish it together. I'm going to fire it. Looks like this one over here is heating up a little faster than this one. All right, little trick I learned is actually if you just take your tweezers or a screwdriver or something and just pull it across the coil and strum it, it'll actually adjust all those all those wires in there. There's uh, coils. All the little separate coils that'll adjust them and get them straightened up. See, everything's it's firing at the same rate now, but it's not even. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it looks purple in here. I don't know why. As opposed to red. Looks pretty good. I'm going to squeeze this one real good real quick. Then we're going to wicker. Yep, 
Alright, let's look at our look at what we got going on. I'm now at 0.67. That ain't bad. That ain't bad for a series box. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good No, Caesar. It's gonna be a good build. Um, a good vape. Alright. Pause it, let it cool down for a sec, and we're gonna wick it. Okay. So guys, I use this Apima cotton. I, I've showed you guys it before. This is a big clump of Supima cotton. I'm going to pull off since it's thir thirty millimeters, I'm gonna pull off a good size clump. You want a little tiny bit more um, more in there uh, for a series build because it, it, you just need to hold more juice realistically. Um, and I'm just going to pat it down, pat it in a roll. And then one side I'm going to not twist it, but twi uh, turn it, like just press it all together. I think I actually got a little bit too much. Yep, I always do that. Pull a tiny bit off. And press it back together. We're going to paint it. Just make a nice little coil here. We're going to make a nice little coil. <laughs> I feel like Bob Ross. There we go. And it's a little bit more than I normally put in there because you kind of need that extra bit. I mean, it's not too much to where it's going to be choking off the, the cotton. It's not going to be choking off the coil. But it is a good amount. I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit more. All right. Now we're going to do the other side. And use about that. We're just going to pat it down. Now, guys, I stopped using the... Uh, the the cotton pads I just find this works better it's just nicer um, no, no offense to anybody that does use the cotton pads it's just what I prefer but I haven't used the cotton pads in probably three or four months though roll it There we go. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Because this damn coil is so long, I gotta roll a little more than I normally do. I'm boring the living hell out of everybody, I'm sure. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to clip the excess. And for excess, I leave more on than most people. Most people will clip right to the edge of the edge of the, uh, the deck. I leave a little bit more on than that. Here we go. And I am out of cotton on that whole bunch. Throw my little snips away and all that kind of stuff. Do a little clean up here. Alright. Now, I gotta break in the cotton. I'm just gonna tuck it down underneath. Make sure it gets a little fluff before I tuck it down, too. I'm not stuffing it, I'm just tucking. I actually like to 
What I, like, what I personally like to do is create a little bed there underneath, but not too much to where you're blocking off the coil underneath the coil because you want the airflow to go underneath your coil. You just want that little bit of bed there to hold the juice. There you go. And tuck that one underneath. And then I, I still fluff it up a little bit down underneath there too. You, you try to keep your cotton as fluffy as you can get it. You play with it a little bit. You know, you read a little story, sing a song. It stays all nice and fluffy. All right. Now, this is going to require a little bit of break in. So bear with me, guys. Um, I'm going to be using Arise from Cloud Company. Same people that do the Suicide Bunny stuff. I like this juice. Uh, it's probably one of my second favorite. It's probably my second, third favorite juice. And we're going to paint nice happy happy coils. Paint these nice happy coils. You want to start with when you paint your coils. You always want to start with the actual coil itself. You want to make sure it gets through the I don't know if you guys can hear that. I am strumming the coil with the dripper. Um, you want to try to get all that cotton underneath the coil or inside the coil nice and saturated before you do anything. All right. Then I always go around to the bottom, around the sides of it, and paint on the sides. Paint on the sides. And I always add a little bit extra underneath, and I go inside too, and I'll add a little bit on the extra sides, on the inside. Paint on the sides here. You have to be nice to your coils. You have to, you know, buy at dinner, you know, buy a little Valentine's gift. It's Valentine's Day. You gotta be happy. You gotta be nice to your coils. Nice coils make happy coils. Unless you want some anger coils. Anger coils are nice too, but. Alright. So I got it nice and saturated, and you guys probably don't have to, have to do this with the, uh, the cotton pads if you use those, or cotton bacon or anything like that. But I'm going to break in this cotton because it, it needs it. So bear with me. All I'm doing is I'm actually drying the cotton out. It's saturated some up, but I'm drying it out so it'll actually saturate more. It'll suck more juice in. You're just, he just heating it up just enough to where just enough to where it'll uh, so it's not bone dry right before it starts to burn. You don't want to burn your gun. You never want to burn your gun. All right. I'm gonna do that one more time. I can already tell it's, it's soaking up more juice. It's getting really cloudy in here. And I'm going to juice it up for the final time. I'm going to throw it on the mine. Oh, yeah. She's juicing up real well now. I can actually just drip it down in there and she'll juice up. Wick right to the coils. I have a hot atomizer, so bear with me. Alright, I'm gonna screw it right on right on my mouth, my noisy cricket here. I didn't crank it down, I was setting the cab. 
Um, but 8.4 volts. These batteries, I've, I've hit it a little bit. I hit it for the last video, but they're still, they still have a good charge in them. 8.4 volts. Yeah. Again, 8.4 volts. That's that's a happy build right there. Happy build. So I'm going to take it back up and show you a little bit. So guys, that's the build. It is a nice build. Um, a nice vapor. It, it's it's warm. It's a lot of clouds. A lot of clouds. But that's how you have to build. You have to build more ohms with a series build. Um, and you have to, you can't use 28 gauge wire or below because it will melt the wire. Um, I actually saw a video where somebody melted the damn wire and they were wondering why it was melting the wire and you're just like, you're using too small a gauge, man. Um, so I recommend 24 and up for a series build. I imagine you could use 26. I don't know. I haven't tried 26. Uh, I don't have 26 here. But uh, that's good. It's actually clear my sinuses because of the warmth. Um, uh, sorry, I'm dumbstruck. Yes, that's the build. Um, it's pretty pretty damn easy. If you don't have the the cool jig, you can do it with a regular screwdriver um, or a drill bit. Just make sure do it with an Ohm's calculator on uh, how many wraps you're going to need before you do it. Um, and for anybody that found my coil video kind of meh because of the, the shooting and twisting, and, yeah, sorry, it's going to get better, guys. That was just my first. I've tried it before, but that's the first actual one that's getting to you. It's going to get better. So, I promise. I'm going to do a damn... Uh, I'm going to show you all how to do Clapton's here in a little bit. Uh, a couple weeks. Um, sorry, the Boneyard Coil's not getting made. I can't get it perfected. I apologize, guys, but I'm defeated on it. Um, the stage heating coils, I'm going to get to those. Um, but, uh, sorry, back to this coil build. Crappy O-rings for you. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to put some more builds, uh, more builders down in the, um, the, the, the description box so you guys can check out those if you want to. Uh, just some, uh, Basically it's the same build, just better quality I guess. Um, maybe some more information that I didn't give. Um, but yeah, y'all take care and like always like, comment, subscribe, and battery safety.